get stuck, we get stuck. Make for a good video. Let's go. Full self-driving up this ridiculous hill. All right, guys, wanted to hop on. Quick video here on sub-zero temperatures. I'm gonna, I don't think FSD is gonna work, but I'm gonna just show you. We have no lane markings. He doesn't know where it is. Pay attention to the road. We are paying attention. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But I, got, I have a couple thoughts. I am paying attention. Don't give me a strike. These roads are slippery. I'm not gonna let it go for too long here. This should not work, although it is kind of working. Um, negative 13, it is actually more like negative 15 out absolutely a dream to drive this Tesla in Arctic temperatures. We've had blizzard conditions here. Negative 15, we woke up today. I gotta say, driving electric car is absolutely fantastic in this type of condition. The cabin, you can warm it up in your garage with the garage door closed. Uh, I just disengaged here because we're coming to the stop sign. There's a car. I'm gonna re-engage. We'll see what happens. Um, yes, you do wanna let the vehicle precondition for about 30 minutes to warm up the batteries. It's gonna be better. Uh, for your efficiency, but um, otherwise, yeah, you can warm it up in your garage. Absolutely beautiful. I started at 83%. I've been driving all over. I've only lost 3% so far. Um, like I said, negative 13, negative 15. We got a car up or a big semi up here. Let's see if it sees it. Yeah, it's making me a little nervous. It's kind of slippery. I'm going to take over here. The thing is with FSD in these conditions, I'm going to re-engage. It can't pick up on the slipperiness of the road and it really can't pick up on the lanes. I was out driving when we had a lot more snow on the road before they cleared it, and FSD is unusable in those situations. You can see it's doing a pretty decent job here. Um, even without the lane markings, it's picking up the sides of the road, and we're going along 25 miles an hour here. So version 12 is gonna be next level, though. The, the difference that a neural network will be able to have in picking up a condition like this, it was like Elon was saying, or somebody was saying, you know, if you had bombs going off in the middle of the road, things flying across, in theory, version 12 neural network should be able to handle that. This this version with its heuristic, 100,000 lines of code, um, it's doing okay, but there's no way it, it, it's gonna be as good as a neural network in these kind of unusual situations. But hey, I don't know, it's doing okay right now. Um, actually, I'm gonna let it go and see what it does at this stop sign. I don't wanna slide through. Uh, but we are coming to a decently slow stop. I'm gonna check because these snow banks are so high you can barely see over them. But it is making this turn okay as we slide around that corner. Um, yeah, it just doesn't know how to perceive that the road is slippery and how to handle that turn. It just doesn't turn normally. You know, a human is able to kind of gauge, hey, how slippery is this particular patch here as I go around the corner and uh, adjust. But. 11.4.9 uh, is just not able to do that. So you could see we slid around that corner as we are. And here's another thing. We would, it's not going in these tracks. A human would go in these kind of already worn out tracks because you know that the, the traction is going to be better. It doesn't know to do that. It's just trying to find the lane and keep it in the middle. So yeah, FSD 11.4.9. I mean, it's not really, no, I don't want to go left there. This is, uh, Actually, you know what? Let's go left there. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does, guys. You wanna go left? Let's go left. If we get stuck, we get stuck. Make for a good video. Let's go. Full self-driving up this ridiculous hill. Oh my gosh, what is this? Why am I doing this? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, take over, take over. All right, I took over, I took over. Oh man, guys, this is a crazy steep hill. I should not have done this. Why am I going up this? Uh, obviously FSD couldn't handle slid all over, but look at the traction I'm getting with this all wheel drive to get up this hill. Tesla's 10 out of 10 winter driving, absolutely incredible. Wow, I really thought I was gonna get stuck going up this hill and I'm going up like it's nothing, barely sliding at all. We've got about 7,000 miles on these tires. They are new tires, but they are stock tires, nothing special. And it went up that snowy, slippery hill like nothing. And that is a steep hill. 
but yeah, too much for FSD. 12 will be a different story, guys. Um, anyway, where am I? Purpose of this video, as you can tell, fantastic in the snow, absolutely fantastic in cold weather. If there's any doubt whether you should get a test, if you have any reservations about getting a Tesla because you live in winter areas, guys, negative 15 blizzard conditions, slippery roads. I drove Subarus for 10 years. Had the, I think Subarus uh, had the best all wheel drive in the market. I'd pick a Tesla at this point over a Subaru. Absolutely fantastic vehicle. All right, thanks for coming along. That's my thoughts on blizzard conditions and Teslas. Don't hesitate. If you're thinking about getting one, you live in a cold area, don't worry about it. Absolute dream to own in these kind of conditions. See you next time, guys. Thank you.